Hi guys, James here, and I'm back with another Hats Unlimited how-to tutorial series on how to steam your hat. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a hat that looks like this. Really quite crushed and uh, deformed. Back into a hat that looks like this in its original shape. Um, and we're going to do that using our industrial steamer right here. Um, and pretty much I'm just going to show you uh, general techniques and uh, methods to steam out a straw hat like this that's been clearly packed poorly or uh, you know maybe somebody sat on it or you just had in a suitcase bad for a while so um, all right so we're just gonna turn on our industrial steamer here and while this warms up um, you can do this uh, you can use steam from a kettle on your stove um, or even just an iron if you hold it away a little bit uh, that will do the trick for the most part. Um, it won't produce as much steam as this. Kettle is usually your best bet. Um, Alright, so this hat I intentionally crushed. I left it under a box for a day so I could make this video for you guys. But um, this happens a lot when you travel. Um, sometimes you pack something wrong or it just gets shifted in your suitcase. Um, this stuff happens. So uh, let's just show you how this is done and we'll get it looking back good real quick. First thing I'm going to do is apply steam around the entire brim, um, the brim, the crown, everything. And what this does is it loosens the fibers. Um, all hats have a sort of memory once they're shaped for the first time, and uh, steam really puts everything kind of back in place. Just like ironing gets you know wrinkles out of your clothes, steam will get the wrinkles out of your hat and put it back into the form that it was supposed to be in. So I'm really just going to put steam throughout the entire inside of the crown, and you can see it's already doing most of the work for me. Uh, it really just starts popping it back out. And what I like to do with, uh, this is called a safari style hat, and it's supposed to have this kind of parabolic shape to the brim, and so what I like to do with these kind of hats is I pop the brim up first. And then I'm going to start steaming all around. The steam is very hot too, so you're going to want to keep it 6 to 8 inches away. That way you don't burn yourself and you also don't damage the straw or the material that you're working on. As you can see, obviously, in this example, I'm working on a straw hat, but uh, this technique can be used for cotton hats, for even paper hats in moderation, and uh, felt as well. Uh, and I may make another video about uh, how to steam your felt hat as well, so look for that upcoming. Alrighty. So, I've steamed the rim up now, so I'm going to pop this back down. And you can already see that this hat is coming back into shape. I mean, this is minimal work right here. And uh, it's already starting to come right back out. So, uh, the harder part is getting it exactly how it was. And that takes a little more fine tuning. Sometimes I've had hats that I really have to uh, do the steaming process and then let them sit and dry out. And then I restart the process again. And after a few times, it'll be just fine takes a little more work sometimes. And most hats have a wire, so you can see a little point here. kind of have to push that back exactly in place sometimes. Depends on uh, if it's a wire brim uh, that's shapeable, or if it's a plastic brim, which this feels like plastic in here. So I'm just really pushing everything back into shape. And a technique I like to use on the brim, like I said, I'm going to put it up, but what you do is you really pull the fibers apart and up as you're pulling apart, and this kind of creates the uh, curve to the brim that was shown on this original hat. Like I said, I'm pulling apart as I'm pulling up and out. And you can see that already gave a little more curve to it. So 
our brim's looking pretty good here. Um, for small spots like this, I don't know if you can see that, but there is a little indentation in the crown here. Um, what you're going to want to do is put your hand inside flat and work out the creases by pushing out into it and uh, smoothing it out when you get more steam. So we're applying steam here. And then I'm going to stick my hand inside and kind of push out and try and smooth out these wrinkles a little bit too and form it around. Right. So, I'm going to pop my brim back down. And as you can see, guys, uh, in a very short period of time, just a few minutes there, we went from a completely crushed hat to a hat that looks good as new again. And this is the version that was not crushed. And you can see they are pretty much one and the same again. Like I said, there's small variations on the uh, wire brim, uh, but I'm going to work this out a little more um, for the sake of short time. I'm going to cut this off a little bit, but uh, yeah, that's how you steam your hat out, especially a straw one. So uh, I hope this helped you guys out, and uh, tune back in for another Hats Unlimited tutorial series soon. Thanks, guys.